Hi friends, it's Miss Parkin from Owens Elementary. So glad to uh, spend some time with you guys today. Let's get started with our pride song, our Jackrabbit pride song that we sing at school. I have a positive attitude. I'm responsible, have integrity. I'm dedicated and exceed expectations. I have jackrabbit pride. Yeah. I have jackrabbit pride. Yeah. I have jackrabbit pride. Yeah. I have a positive attitude. I'm responsible. Have integrity. I'm dedicated and exceed expectations. I have jackrabbit pride. Yeah. Today, we are going to do story time with Miss Parkins' ukulele. And we'll add a little bit more to the story every day. Notice when I play, if I press the strings, it makes a different sound every time I play the instrument. So we're going to add this ukulele to our story time today. All right, let's do it. Once upon a time, there was a little jackrabbit. Of course, our story must be about a jackrabbit because we are jackrabbits. Anyway. Our jackrabbit, he had a very special and unique name. Most jackrabbits have typical jackrabbit names like Jack, Rabbit, Poppy, Jumper, Jessica, you know, the normal names that would be for a jackrabbit. But our jackrabbit, he's unique. He's not going to have an ordinary name. Our jackrabbit, his name was Swimmer. Swimmer? Yes, his name was Swimmer. What's wrong? Swimmer is a really good name, right? Well, Swimmer is not typically a name that you give to a rabbit or even a jackrabbit. Why, you might ask? Because jackrabbits are known for their jumping, their skipping, their sniffing with their cute little pink noses. Um, but what they're not often known for is their ability to swim. So, that's kind of an odd predicament to be called swimmer when it's not typical that you would swim. But nonetheless, swimmer was the name of our jackrabbit friend. And because his name was swimmer, he assumed that he could swim. Now, he first started swimming in the bathtub, and then small little puddles, and then he would start swimming in the pond, in lakes, in streams, not the ocean, because typically jackrabbits do not live by the ocean. So we're going to keep it, we're going to keep it accurate here to science. So... Little swimmer, he learned how to be a really good swimmer, even though jackrabbits aren't known for swimming. And that made him different. And tomorrow we'll find out what was a good thing about him being different and maybe a not so good thing. So we'll cover that part of the story tomorrow. Before we end today, let's do our jackrabbit chant. 
We are jackrabbits. We show our pride at the end of the day. We know we've tried. Believe we can achieve. We'll reach any dream. We are jackrabbits. We are a team. Woo! One school, one team. One school, one team. Love you, everyone. I will see you tomorrow.